we have some fun topics that we are talking about today. We are doing a state your case segment. So we are picking an unexpected or a quote bubble player from the United States women's national team that should be on the Olympic roster going to Paris. Now uh, with the Olympics, there are only 18 players that can be rostered to go to the Olympics. That is 16 field players. There's usually two goalkeepers. And then of course there are five alternates, but we're not talking the alternates. We are talking full roster being one of the 18 that is signed with the United States and going to Paris. I want to know from you, Sandra, who is your unexpected bubble player that you are going to state your case to go to the Paris Olympics? I hate that I'm even talking about this player in this breath because this player has not only been a part of these national team camps over the last course of this, you know, six months or so, specifically with Twyla Kilgore in the interim role but hasn't seen a lot of time on the pitch recently. So it makes me wonder if they're in the bubble sphere of this team. And it's a tragedy to me because this is a player that actually has Olympic experience at this point. I feel like Casey Kruger is on the outside looking in and I'm just here saying why, why, why I want to see her get some more time on the national team level. Next window's coming in June. We have to imagine that just after that, perhaps we see that Olympic roster drop. There's a difference in this Olympic roster. The way the alternates are going to slot in, it's going to be the more traditional role of alternates where they kind of just travel with the team. And if they're part of that game day roster, it's specifically due to injury. So we're throwing it back to how the Olympic rules used to be. Casey Kruger is actually a player on this team that does have Olympic experience, was a part of that bronze medal winning team in Tokyo games, but was also listed as an alternate. But the difference there was that these players in light of the ongoing pandemic were available for selection and utilized throughout the tournament when they needed to be utilized. So I think of this player and I look at the timeline, Lisa, of things with, with how Kilgore has been in the interim role, the short window in the buildup to the Olympics and Emma Hayes and her arrival and how that's coming in June. And whenever I think about Casey Kruger and, and think about how she plays and and really know what she has to offer on the pitch, because she's she's a player that I've got to, to to cover closely while she was in Chicago. She just sort of has a lot of those typical traits that Emma Hayes appreciates in a player. So I look at Kruger and I feel like she checks a lot of boxes, but the other side of that coin is that there's just not a lot of time here. And with what we've been seeing in front of us on the pitch, I want to make a case for her to crack this roster. I like that. That's a good, that's a good shout for Casey Kruger. And you've been on the Casey Kruger chain train for a while now. Um, I think that also her time in Washington this year, right. Being traded in the off season or as a free agent, right. She it was a free agent move for her. Um, to go to Washington Spirit, I think gives her a different look on the field as well because now she's playing with different players and she has a little bit of a different role because she's playing center back at times for Washington. Frankly, I don't think that helps her um, on her case for going to the Olympics by any chance. Um, with this United States roster, the left back position is one that has a lot of depth and also does not have a, a firm player that has solidified themselves in that starting role, whether it's Casey Kruger, whether it's Emily Fox, who's who's mostly moved to the right side and solidified herself there, Jenna Nightswang or Crystal Dunn. There's a lot of depth and a lot of players. So it makes sense that we both pick a player that is in that role. For me, I'm going to state my case for defender Jenna Nightswanger to go to the Olympics in that left back position over someone like Casey Kruger. Um, Jenna Nightswanger has come into this national team and proven that she is willing to learn, to adapt to the system, and to grow in her role. Th there are some downsides to Night Swanger's play defensively. She hasn't been tested as much 1v1, but that's also not her role as much in the formation that Twyla Kilgore and the U.S. is playing right now because when Night Swanger's on the pitch, she's the one pressing up really high and getting into those attacking zones, which is how Jenna Night Swanger is good at playing and 
she gets into the attacking end. She has bravery on the ball. She's not afraid to go 1v1. She's got good crosses into the box. She's young. There, there are so many pros and cons with Jenna Neitzwanger in that her defensive abilities 1v1 maybe aren't the strongest. Um, she's also really young. She hasn't been through that much, whether it's professionally. Um, you could argue that in her first season, becoming rookie of the year and winning the championship with Gotham did prove a lot, but she also didn't have to go through that much adversity in my mind. So she hasn't been through a lot because she is so young. However, I think her pros outweigh some of those cons that she has and her ability to get forward and contribute into the attack and not have the pressure of I deserve to be starting or what's going to happen. It, it's almost like she has a clean slate. Anytime she steps onto the pitch, it's just getting the job done that is asked of her in that moment. Um, so for me, I'm going with Jenna Neiswanger to, to state my case. I think she should be going to the Olympics. No, I, I hear you. And I think it's a good shout, especially considering this last month that we got to see her on in these in, like international games looking at how she was in that semifinal against Canada, which again, the weather conditions, <laughs> terrible, terrible time for everybody involved, including us there and watching, but also getting a little bit of a, of a look and, and she believes and against different opposition. This is a, this is a player that it's, it's pretty evident that how coachable she is. Like once you give her the adjustment, once you give her, you know, the, the mark or the test, whatever she, she responds immediately. So I'm with you. I, I would, I would argue that maybe she's like a near lock at this point. Like maybe she's not I so know, bubble, yeah. but nothing is in stone right now, even with the Olympics, just a few months away. So I'm, I'm, I'm with you on it. That's interesting that you think she's a, a near lock. I mean, I would hope she is clearly I'm stating my case for her to go there, but there's just something about how fluid the left back position has been for the United States uh, during the gold cup. Of course, Jenna Neitzwanger uh, did establish herself, but throughout the she believes cup, they, they rotated a lot. And to me, that just means that the, the coaching staff is still evaluating that role. And yeah, absolutely. should be there. And then, of course, with Germa going down, it does change the dynamics of the back line. And you also have to evaluate how players adjust with the the players beside them and around them. Um, I don't know. I, I like that you think that she's a lock. We'll see. Time is ticking down because we'll get the roster soon. I like that. Like the the players that we kind of zeroed in on were, were players that we've typically seen in, in the the fullback position and it's just really kind of I don't know it's just very interesting like how these cycles show us different things like just what was it two two Olympic cycles ago maybe even an Olympic cycle ago where there was this sort of narrative around the outside back pool mm -hmm. where it was like oh no we have failed to develop yeah. <laughs> outside bags who is going to be in this role right and then there's you know we we see this argument you know against even like you know seeing crystal dunn still in that role like because we know what we she can do higher on the pitch like we've seen her in higher midfield roles for clubs like there's folks who are you know leading the charge for like push crystal Dunn higher brigade like let's see what happens you know i know we've been in right. you know added our voices to that sometimes as well so it's just very like it's just so interesting to me to see like here we are like going into another Olympics and that's not necessarily what we're talking about. In fact, it's the opposite. There's a ton of options in this outside back pool. There, there's almost like too many options yeah. at times with with how many players and how how much depth there is. Uh, all right, that's our state our case. I liked it. You're going with Casey Kruger. I'm going to go with Jenna Nightswanger. 